Hi, I'm Bryony Kennedy and I'm going to show you my fresh, simple summer look that's my go-to when the weather starts to warm up. So to get started, I do have the primer on my face already. Now you could also use the facial oil if you wanted to. And now what I'm going to do to trick the look of radiant skin is I'm just going to put on a pump or two of the Skin Radiance Liquid Illuminizer. I'm just going to press that around my face. And you put this on before you put your foundation on or you can mix it in with your foundation if you're using a liquid. You could put the liquid and the illuminizer on together and you can already see how radiant my skin looks just where I've placed that. So this is for the radiance of your skin and then I will show you in a moment how to highlight your skin. So two separate products. Okay, so I'm just blending that now what I'm going to do is use the loose minerals in the SPF 20 plus light to medium color and I'm going to lift the color with a bronzer in a moment. So if you've got dry skin um, or you want a more dewy appearance, you can spritz your kabuki brush with the rose water, okay? Make your brush a little bit damp and then press the minerals on. Now, you'll find that when you are using a damp brush that the minerals will go on heavier. So if you like a heavier look, that's awesome. If not, use a dry brush. Um, but I just prefer sometimes to go with a damp kabuki brush. That way I get heavier coverage quicker and a really flawless finish. Now, this summer simple, fresh skin look is about minimal products. It's about protecting the skin with the SPF, with the loose minerals, okay? So that when you're out and about in the sun, you know, you are protecting your skin. It's about being water and sweat resistant, so that's why I'm using the loose minerals as well. Now finish in downward strokes to get the hair to sit down, because we've all got little downy hairs on our face. Now. I'm going to pop a bit down my neck because I also want the sun protection on my neck. And if you were showing your decolletage, you might want to pop it down there as well, okay? So you can see already the coverage on that side of my face. It's even helped eliminate a little bit of that dark circle compared to this side. So if your circles aren't as bad as mine, you probably could get away without concealer. Okay, so. Every time I move the brush away from the camera, it's because I'm re-dipping and getting about that much more. I'm making it even on the brush and then I'm pressing it onto the skin. I'm not buffing it. The, the reason for that is because I get a heavier coverage than buffing, which spreads it and makes it a thinner coverage. Now around the nose, I do buff it because I like to get it into the large pores, gently over the eye. So a damp brush will have the loose minerals go on heavier, a dry brush lighter. Pressing the minerals will go on heavier, buffing it will spread the minerals and it will go on lighter. So there's so many different ways for you to play with your minerals to get that look that you're after. Okay, So just keep trying until you're happy with the coverage that you're wanting. Okay. So the next step for me is now to conceal underneath my eyes. It's all about being fresh and your skin looking flawless. And it doesn't matter what time of the year, that's always a good base to start with. Okay, so I'm going to use the Peachy Sleep Concealer under my eyes, pressing it in the middle, because we're quite black in here, and just patting it on like an eye cream. And I also like to just put a little bit on my eyelids as well to give a really nice, very quick two-in-one nude eyeshadow look because it's neutralizing the veins on the eyes. It gives the illusion of a nude eyeshadow and again, a more flawless palette or flawless canvas to work with. So I'm all for things doing two for one. 
Okay, so you can see that that's really lifted up my, con my dark circles. I'm just gonna put a little bit more here where I need a bit more. And they've gone, which is great. Okay, so, and just a bit here where your tear ducts, you can get a bit red on the outer corner. Now, if you need to conceal the rest of your face, you can do that now with a matching concealer to your, your foundation, but I would find that most of the floors that you've got, the loose minerals will hide. Um, unless it's bumpy floors, no foundation will hide that. It'll just minimize the appearance of them. Uh, so now I'm going to put on the bronzer, okay? So this is all about very simple uh, simple products that are multi-purpose. So for the days where you don't want a lot, you don't want to look heavy, you don't want to feel like you've got sweaty makeup on, I'm using all loose minerals today so that you can use a product that's really allowing the skin to breathe and again, just feel carefree and not like you've got anything really thick on the face. So I'm using the Monaco bronzer with our bronzer brush and I'm just getting a tiny little bit and I'm just going to pop this around my hairline. So I'm going to go all the way around my hairline, in front of my ear here, just underneath and along my jawline. So it's effectively two C's or a three if you remember it that way. Now this is a great tip for people who are trying to lift the color of their foundation so if you're in between shades and your foundations a little bit too light then you can really lift your foundation color by doing this technique you can already see just by me doing that it's shadowing down my face and giving the appearance that I'm a lot darker than I am um, and the other thing that this is obviously doing is that it's shaping the face so if you've got a large forehead, it will help minimize the appearance of the forehead. If you're wanting high cheekbones by making this area under here a little bit darker, it gives the illusion of that drawn in look. So it gives the appearance of higher cheekbones. Okay, and along the jawline here will help if you've got a bit of a turkey neck that you're not liking, it'll help minimize the appearance of that. So when things look darker, they look smaller, okay? So that's what I'm doing, is I'm just really quickly creating the illusion of higher cheekbones, slightly darker skin without having to go darker with the foundation. Um, if you're wanting that sun-kissed look, this is a great tip because you don't necessarily want to do darker foundation if you're gonna, you know, where, where are you gonna end it? if, if if you're not really that dark. So bronzers are a great way to create that illusion. Now, if you put your bronzer on and you find you've put too much on, don't stress because I'm gonna show you with the Kabuki brush how you fix it, all right? Now, I'm gonna put some down my neck as well. Again, creating that illusion I'm a little bit darker than I am. Now, the bronzers are great too because you can mix them with moisturizer. So if you grabbed one of our body balms in the skincare range and you mixed it with this bronzer it's an actual tinted body or a body tint basically so that's a, a handy tip so if you haven't been able to fake tan or maybe your fake tan looks really ghastly and patchy you only need to tip a bit of this into your hand mix it with our body balm and it's an instant color for the skin um, so I just love doing that especially if I'm on the go and I haven't had a chance to tan all right, so I'm really happy with that. The bronze has come up really nice, really flawless. It's blend really well. But as I said, if you do make a mistake and you put a big blob, just grab your Kabuki brush. There's always a little bit of foundation left on it. And you just gently sweep over the top of it. And this will self blend your bronzer for you. So there's no need to start again or add more or, or whatever it is that you normally do when you feel like you've made a mistake. The, the Kabuki brush will blend everything for you and that's why it's a really popular product as well. So um, it will make the your Kabuki brush a little bit darker but it, it's not a big deal, okay? It's not gonna be enough that it will change your foundation next time. So now what I'm going to do, now that I've got that concentration, that three or the two C's, 
on my face in a way that I'm happy with. It's created the illusion that I'm darker. It's given me that sucked in look there. It's given me a really nice strong jawline. I've put it on my neck to increase the look of um, what color I am. I'm now just going to use this as my blush, okay? So I'm now just popping it here on the apples of my cheeks. And of course, this part, I'll just make a little bit darker, okay? So on the cheeks, I'll put a bit more. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a blush here, but to keep this simple, and for those of you that don't know how to use bronzers, this is what you can do. You can use them to increase the, the darkness of the face, but you can also use them as a blush. Again, if you put too much on, don't panic because you can use your kabuki to blend it. Now, I am going to, with what's left on the brush, with the bronzer, sweep over my eye. The reason I like to do this is because it brings the concealer and, and the foundation and the bronzer all together so it's more of a graduating look rather than it being really white around the eyes. And I also like to just, with what's left on the brush, just gently go over my mouth area because I'm trying to create the illusion that I'm just that little bit darker than I am, okay? And you can see that that's blended that really nicely, okay? So if you are wanting to increase the darkness of your foundation, do your C's or your threes, then you can use this as a blush as I've just done, okay? And then when you're happy with how everything looks, you just grab what's left on the brush, don't re-dip it, go over the mouth, sweep it over the eyes, okay, and it'll blend it all together. Now, you could use this as an eyeshadow if you wanted to just quickly put that in the corners, but I'm just gonna keep this really quick and simple. Now I'm putting on the highlighter. So we talked about the Skin Radiance Liquid Illuminizer creating radiance and a luminescence to the skin, that really youthful, subtle glow without being shiny. That's my go-to. I mix that every day with every foundation I wear. And then my other go-to is the Loose Mineral Highlighter. Okay, so often people get confused as to what they are and what the difference is. You do need, well, you do need both. It's up to you. But this is a highlighter. So it's there to put on top of your, oh look, you can already see, look at that. Anything that you want to look highlighted or bigger or more dewy, this is what you would use the loose mineral highlighter for. So I'm just putting it on my temples and on my cheekbones to make that really stand out. And you can see that my cheekbones look bigger just for putting that on. You could put a little bit in the middle of your forehead, okay? The tip of your nose. You could also use this highlighter on the top of, of your lip bow. And this will give the illusion of a pout. So really awesome, quick, water resistant, sweat resistant tech tips that you can use. So just by blending that, look how curled up that's made my lip you can take it next step further and put it on the bottom and this once I've got a gloss or a lipstick on will give that illusion of a pout okay you could also use this as an eyeshadow or a brow uh, define your brow so you could just do a sweep with a full brush like this or you could just use a, a smaller brush and just put it underneath the brow bone, I like to just sweep it really quickly over my whole eye to give a really nice dewiness, okay? So that's the Loose Illuminizer, very multi-purpose, it's a definite must-have eyeshadow, it's a highlighter, it's a plumper, um, and it gives radiance to the skin as well, but not to be confused with this one, which you mix with your foundation. Okay, so really quickly, I'm going to curl my lashes, this is another way of getting your makeup to look really simple and fresh is to have nice long looking lashes. You can see they're quite short looking here. But look at that. So we do sell these, okay? So if you just get them as close to the lash line and you just lift this up a little bit and wow, I could almost just not even wear mascara if I didn't want to, okay? So again, I'm just curling them. Yeah, see that's just amazing. Like you could just put on a really simple, if you're just going to the beach or you're wanting to keep this really simple, 
just put one really light layer of mascara, okay? So what I would do now is make the choice um, whether I put a little bit of eyeliner in the outer corners with the wind up brown pencil is probably what I would use. Um, and then I, depending on where I'm going, I'll either put the waterproof mascara on, which will be available in brown as well as black very shortly. Um, and obviously it'll be in the new packaging. So you could just put a lick of the mascara on now or just curl your lashes if you're happy with just that look. Okay. Okay. Um, and then what I would do is again decide on whether I want a bit of lipstick or gloss and today I'm going to finish my eyes off when I when I jump off in a moment I'm just gonna put a bit of mascara on but I'm not a big fan of doing these in the lives because I tend to poke myself in the eye um, the live tutorials or the tutorials so I do try and avoid them but I am going to show you my favorite lip combo and that is the Zaza uh, lipstick okay and I always top that with the Kate gloss so a really punchy corally orange beautiful lipstick on its own that's just the Zaza by itself or you could then put it with the Kate over the top which is really vibrant Perfect, so there you go. There's my look for keeping it really simple and summery and fresh and glowy. The list of all the products will be listed within this email or within this tutorial, however you're viewing it. Um, and if you want any further techniques or tips on how to do any of the individual things I've done, head to the tutorial page as we have step-by-step -step tutorials there.